In today's video, we got a big package from one of my mentors, a fan of Ben Graham and Warren Buffett investing styles, an avid reader, a Massachusetts native, one of the very first subscribers on this channel, good friend and mentor because he is extremely knowledgeable about the sports card hobby, writes about it, studies it, and is constantly giving back to the hobby, and that is our man David Hunter from Sports Card Collector HQ and he sent me a package from Beckett Marketplace here so I'm excited to open this up and share with you guys what's in it and we'll go through it together let's dig in let's go real quick if you're brand new here you want to make laser focused football card investments sell football cards effectively and all kinds of football card stuff like personal collection items and such hit that subscribe button that little bell notification icon so you don't miss a single step on the quest now one thing that david hunter is very good about and where he finds a lot of value and profit is actually in veteran cards second third fourth year cards but he targets scarcity uh, he's very good about targeting scarcity and targeting cards that collectors value in the hobby. Uh, and he's taught me a lot about that. We got a lot of near mint to mint stuff going on here. This is going to be exciting. Let's see what it is. Whew. Now this is Beckett Marketplace, so you don't necessarily get to see the card when you purchase them. And it is, it, it's, it's challenging from that aspect, so you never quite know what you're going to get. Also, you can see a lot of these cards are not in penny sleeves. So one thing I should be doing as we go through this is get my, my sleeves out right here. My smooth sleeves, smooth sleeves. They just have an extra lip on the back that really uh, make it easy to... You see that extra lip on the back? So you slide a card right in there. So check it out, right off the top we got this 2021 gold foil press proof Leonard Fournette. Yeah, it is Leonard Fournette. They still have him in the number 28 jersey which he changed actually uh, in 2021. So that kind of can give you an idea of the age of photographs when they start manufacturing they must start manufacturing these cards well before the actual time it's released because this photo was actually would have been from 2020 so yeah just i love the gold foil press proof though from 2021 dominus just a nice little pc item check it out we got a uh, tom brady highlights here brady cashes in with buccaneers for his seventh ring I'll never forget it, Brady. Appreciate your service here in Tampa. Wish you the best, sir. Wish you the best, sir. Thank you for giving me a wonderful two seasons of football, Buccaneers football, some of the best that we've ever had. So very thankful for that. Just a nice little insert there. We got a Gronk. The champ is here. I love the outline of these cards. This nice little PC item here. That'll definitely be going in the PC. See, these kind of cards will be perfect for me to put together a three-ring binder of uh, Tampa Bay, you know, inserts, like get the rainbow of these champions here. Antoine Winfield throwing up the deuces to Tyreek Hill in the Super Bowl with the WWE belt and the champion uh, and the um, the winner's circle there and, and the, the trophy announcement ceremony. Devin White, check out this certified graffiti, man. I think these cards are pretty cool. I think these, this card is very polarizing. You either hate it or you love it. Um, I think it's pretty cool. It's a 2021 certified uh, graffiti Devin White. I think it looks pretty cool, man. Definitely very artistic and uh, will definitely look good. Like that'll look good on the wall. That'll even like look good in, a, uh, in an SGC slab with the black borders and stuff. Chris Godwin, Optic. Optic Hollow, Optic Hollow, and he got franchise tags. So I'm really happy for CG to be back on the team. Does he take back his old jersey number of number 12? You could see the age of this photo again. This is uh, what what year is this? Let's see. So oh, this is a 2020. So still, they would have taken this photo from 2019 because once Brady signed, Chris Godwin gave up his number 12 jersey number, obviously to the goat. <laughs> 
for multiple reasons there. Rondé Barber raised a banner. Look at this. Throwback to Super Bowl 37, uh, our 2002 when we won the Super Bowl last time. Our first Super Bowl, man. Man, what a what a great time. That was back in the when I worked at Papa John's and was uh, running around with Brad, the comeback card investor, and him and I were going nuts when we won that. Went down to the stadium, and it was going nuts. Ooh, this toe the line, Mike Evans. That's a cool in-game picture right there. It looks like he's catching a touchdown against the, looks like the Jags or maybe the Eagles. Yeah, it's the Eagles. Um, that's a really cool little insert from score here. I like the action pose. 6'5", 231 for that kind of speed. Just an incredible beast of a wide receiver. Definitely gonna, definitely, that's my my super collector PC guy right here. Another Mike, ooh, a rookie card, a prestigious picks from Prestige 2014. Check it out. Got the number seven picks. So they printed quite a bit of variety for Mike Evans in 2014. I love the little shiny triangle background on this one though. This is looking really cool. Prestigious picks. There you go. Very nice. Oh, the mu and this guy hates being called this nickname, but he absolutely exploded on the scene. The muscle hamster, Doug Martin, a thousand yard club. What year was that? That was like uh, 20, yeah, that sounds about right, 2013. 2013. It's because it was like, uh, yeah, like the third year I started playing fantasy football. Doug Martin exploded on the scene. The massive season. I mean, he was one of the top running backs, one of the most desirable running backs there in, in 2013 time period. Vincent Jackson, man, pour some out for Vincent. You know, uh, tragedy with the way his life ended early. Rest in peace, Vincent. Doug Martin, the muscle hamster, was an absolute stud there for a little time period. These are really cool little inserts. Really, really neat cards to have in the personal collection. Thank you so much, David. Loving these, man. Loving these. Really cool PC cards. Very thoughtful. Appreciate you, sir. Not only for this, but, you know, David has inspired several of, of the best videos that you've seen on this channel. Um, I mean, he loves the, the macroeconomic strategy type of, of videos. Look at this. We got a Darrell Revis, man. <clears throat> All pro at a time corner from the Jets. Drafted by the Jets. Uh, he didn't have quite the success here in Tampa that he did in New York, but a lot of people contribute that to our defensive scheme. Uh, it didn't really fit his play style. So, needless to say, Darrell Revis, though, it was an absolute All pro uh, corner. One of the best. Look at that brilliance. What is this, a, a 2013 second year short print insert? But this is, you know, check it out. Got the Buccaneers on the sleeve. Oh, now we're going LeGarrette Blunt. Oh man, LeGarrette Blunt, just absolute power back, man. The guy you won at the goal line. Check this gold standard, gold rush. Beautiful finish to the front of this card. Really thick card stock there. And we got a serial number here, guys. 089 out of 299. 120. So this was must have been from a specific game. After a less than stellar start in the running game for the Bucks in 2010, Coach Raheem Morris turned to the team's big bruising back in Week 8 versus Arizona. 120-yard, two-touchdown day featured a 48-yard carry in which he leaped over Arizona safety carry Rhodes to avoid the tackle. So this was highlighting a specific game against Arizona Week 8, 2010. That's cool. Oh, it's getting it's getting more interesting here, guys. Let's see what we got next. Majestic Leroy Selman. Check this out. I love that old Buccaneer Bruce. Look at this car. This looks like, you know, something very uh, old timey, but like a like a relic type of card. Uh, just really cool. 
Selman was the first player drafted by the expansion Buccaneers in 76. By 79, he was the NFL's defensive player of the year. And now he owns steakhouses here in Tampa. Leroy Selman's a legend here in Tampa. Uh, and this is, a, this is a really cool card to have, this majestic. It's almost like a, uh, kind of like a, a ticket looking thing, but uh, that's a really cool horizontal formatted card right there. That's awesome. Oh, check this out. I love the Topps Chrome set from 2005. Wow, check this out. 2005 Topps Chrome. That's wouldn't have been his rookie year, but this is a, uh, a Topps Chrome. You can see the little refractor down there in the bottom right. Rondé Barber, just Hall of Fame corner, all pro corner on Tampa Bay. Hmm. I mean, these, uh, these refractors from 2005 were very rare, and they're just beautiful cards. I mean, this was Topps' 50th anniversary. It also fixed all the uh, overprinting issues they had back in the 90s. So these cards, very rare uh, from 2005, and it's like thick, and it's just very well made. Very nice card, very nice card, David. This one's really cool, really. Really cool, love Rondé Barber. As you, know, you guys know, I've got that autographed uh, football from Rondé Barber. Man, and then checked out Bowman Chrome. Beautiful card, Bowman Chrome 2005. Brian Greasy, check it out, guys. Brian Greasy, in short uh, career with the Buccaneers. Red Refractor, so you know this one's gonna be super rare as well. One of the rarest. Bowman Chrome. I'm sure he probably got this for for very cheap. I got his little receipt log here. Let's see. 2005. Yeah, he got this for 60 cents. So, such a cool card to have in the personal collection for 60 cents. A red refractor, Bucks flag, Brian Greasy. You know, that's just brings back so many memories there his skills led the nfl by completing 69.3 percent of his passes in 04 through 16 touchdown passes in final eight games four-year starter with the broncos who led 2000 nfl with 102.8 passer rating so he had that precision passing man Really cool card. Another thick card stock. Ooh, got a Brian Kelly. Got a Brian Kelly in the tops. This is a first edition. So first edition tops. This would have been from 2003. Yeah, what, Brian Brian Kelly was a safety. Yeah, Brian Kelly was tough, man. Long arms, good physical dimensions. Did a really great job with his career at the Bucks. Brian Kelly was breaking up all kinds of plays. Big fan. Really cool insert with a little highlight there in the football on the bottom left. Interesting card. I love the team logos. Michael Pittman, man, with the grapefruit-sized biceps. Guy was a power running back, and now his son is, is playing at a very high level on the Indianapolis Colts, Michael Pittman Jr. 521 out of 599, just a 2000, uh, 2003 Topps Chrome. Yeah, Topps Chrome Refractor, really nice short print insert card here a little see and that's you know you never know what you're gonna get a little dent right there but it's all good it's a PC card serial number two so this is pretty rare very disciplined father was in the military you can see that in uh, Michael Pittman jr. too Wonderful card there, really cool. It looks like it's from that same top set, the first edition there, 2003. 
year after we won the Super Bowl. NFL jersey card, Brad Johnson, our 2002 Super Bowl quarterback. SP Field Fabrics. Let's see if this was a game worn. A game used. We got a game used jersey. We got a game used Brad Johnson jersey. He used to do these commercials. Fantastic Sam's. It's all about the hair. Brad Johnson had that swag here in Tampa. Check that out, man. Got a game used jersey from, uh, was this from like 2000? I don't see a year. Oh, yeah, 2003. So this would have been a game used jersey from 2002, our Super Bowl year. How cool is that, man? That is really cool. Keenan McCardell. Scorecard. Nice, Keenan McCardell. Well, he was a stud. He came from the Jags, and he played with Mark Brunel for a while, but caught just two passes uh, in our 48-21 in the Super Bowl. Both of them resulted in touchdowns. <laughs> so just the clutch touchdown machine there. Simeon Rice, dude, bringing the heat. He was like our JPP back in the day, man. Simeon Rice was uh, such a stud, dude. Look at the number of sacks he recorded with the Cardinals in the late 90s. Also recorded 15 and a half sacks in our Super Bowl year. Absolute stud. This is a Fleer Tiffany, so this is going to be a uh, short print. Yeah, look at that. Serial numbered 013 out of 200. So, awesome card to have. Man, what a haul. What a haul. I think he got this entire stack, David said, for like $40 or less. Pro Bowl standout, Mike Allstott, the A-Train, baby. Just such a style. Look at that. Uh, numbered 1920 out of 2002, the, the, our Super Bowl year. Five-time Pro Bowler, Allstott flashed his receiving skills with his four-yard touchdown catch in the 2003 contest. Super Bowl 36, he knocked over blockers like a bowling ball to clear the way for Michael Pittman's 124 yards. Incredible blocker as well. Keyshawn Johnson, the mouth of the south, man. Throw me the damn ball, right? Look at this EX. Dude, this card looks so cool. This is a really cool looking card. Let's see. This was uh, best game. This was from 2001. So acquired a trade in 2000. College, went to USC. That's interesting. So I think that's a, a second year card maybe of him. That's a really cool looking card, man. I really like the design of that. Keyshawn Johnson. He had that attitude, man. He had that swag. Oh, work done, man. Such a sh sh such a shifty runner. He was so dynamic as a running back. For his size, man, he was so elusive and agile and explosive. The Soul Train. Check out the Skybox short print card here. 9 of 10 ST. It's interesting how they did their inserts back then, whether, you know, like. Really cool. Really cool design in that. Supernatural. Look at this, man. Clear Showcase. I really like this design. This is a really pretty card. Supernatural work done. Clear Showcase. Refractor all over the front of it. 10 of 10 serial numbers. So I, I think that means that there's only 10 of these. I'm not positive though. It says 10 of 10 SN, which, you know, that could have just been it was number 10 in the Supernatural series. It not, I don't think SN means serial number per se, but still, the design on this was so cool, man. And uh, it, oh, there's actually texture to the, the letters there. Jacques Green. Jacquez Green, 10th year anniversary of score. Buccaneers logo, gold border. Love it. Look at that. It's even got a serial number here, 1925 out of 1989. That's funny how they used to do the serial numbers uh, to the year. Their serial numbers are obviously a lot higher back in the 
the late 90s, 98, 1999, second year card, Jacquez Green, another stud wide receiver for us, late 90s, love some Jacquez Green, man, he was fast, I remember him being really fast, 5'9", 168, yeah, he was extremely, he would have been extremely fast, ooh, stargazing, Mike Allstott with the stars, love that, look at that A-Train, dude, he was so jacked, he used to plow people over. Really thick card, stargazing. This is a playoff stargazing. I'm sure this is like a, some kind of short print insert here. You can see how nice it is to slide these cards in these smooth sleeves. Ooh, a work done with the finest protection on there. Sensations. Check that out. Refractor. 99 99 finest refractor sensations that's a cool card it's got would have the texture underneath it's got this uh coating this coating to peel and remove some people leave it on some people take it off i mean, honestly i like to leave it on because they expose the card to potential damage that's interesting how they used to put a thin film protect the card really thick card stock it makes me feel good about handling this card with that that uh protective coating on it Rush Hour, <laughs> check it out, Rush Hour, uh, Fleer Ultra, Mike Allstott, A-Train, Rush Hour, Buccaneers flag, 3 of 20, RH, 1998. <laughs> Meeting Mike Allstott on the gridiron, going the opposite directions like playing chicken on your 10 speed against the neighbor's Camaro. <laughs> Surprisingly agile for a fullback, and very, very explosive, Mike Allstott. One of the best fullbacks of all time. Who do we got here? Chidi Ah Aha no, no to. I, I remember Chidi. Chidi. Chidi late uh, late 90s gold medallion edition. D line. Career highlights. Ranked second on Bucks and tied for 17th in NFL with 10 sacks in 97. Recorded seven solo tackles and two sacks versus Cardinals. Has 14 solo tackles and three sacks versus Vikings over the last two seasons. Chidi is like our, our Vita Vea of today, man. Nice card. Gotta like that clear. Ultra uh, gold medallion edition. That's that short print edition with that. You can kind of see it, that background's got like a little gold background. That's nice. Another work done, upper deck, black diamond. So you know that's the short print. Got the serial number. Typed in 1673 out of 2250. Done, rushed for 130 yards and a touchdown against Detroit on 9-7-97. Must have highlighted that game right here in this picture. Look at him getting ready to make a cut. Getting ready to make a cut. Turn some guy's ankles into dust. Courtney Hawkins. Now we're going back, man. Now we're going back to the, uh, I think, earlier 90s, right? Yeah, or mid-90. mid, mid He topped Tampa Bay wide receivers with 46 receptions in 96. And quietly moved up on the team's all-time record chart. He's the eighth total reception leader with 206. Courtney Hawkins from Michigan State, 5'9, 183. Nice little Hall of Fame. You can see the little Hall of Fame medallion in the bottom right there. Tops. Let's see what we got here. Alvin Harper, dude. Look how nice these selects were from back in the 90s. Look at this select certified edition. That is a beautiful card. I mean, this is like almost like a feels like a metallic type of texture. Just such a good finish on the card here. Aiden. Yeah, Alvin Harper, man. Wide receiver. Check that out. This would have been a really cool card back in the 90s. This is an awesome addition to my collection here. This is awesome, David. See what else we got oh we got a, a jersey die cut eric rett man eric rett 
drafted him number one overall from Florida back in back in the early 90s. I got his autograph in person. I remember he was so hyped up. 3-2-1, blast off. Eric became just the 12th back to run for 1,000 yards each of his first two pro seasons. Like, he didn't last for a long time, but he was dominant early on in, uh, in his NFL career. It just, I mean, our team overall was not good, so... We relied on him a lot, and um, he definitely led us to to some wins there. That is, a, that is an awesome card, that jersey cut out. Pinnacle from 96, that is awesome, dude. One of 20, that's a really cool card. Really cool card. Whoop. Man, this was a big stack of cards. Artist Proof, Horace Copeland, man. Horace Copeland. Dude, check out that silver at the bottom, that artist proofs. That's really interesting, man. 146, Horace Copeland. Coach Tony Dungy predict Horace will emerge in 96 as Isaac Bruce did in 95. He'll make an impact getting deep and making big plays. One is another stud wide receiver from the 90s. Derek Brooks, everybody's favorite linebacker, little underrated, undersized coming into the NFL, just so consistent, smart, uh, powerful. Man, this is a cool card. He was a Terror 95 rookie as a rookie, registering 60 unassisted tackles and forcing two fumbles. Really cool. That's a cool looking card, man. The Pacific Collection. What do we got here? Ooh, we got a big Warren Sapp. First 2000 printed press proof. This is a Donruss. First 2000. Very interesting. So we got the little go. Oh, look at that. That's a little uh, punch out there. The little helmet punch out. Something you don't see anymore. Look at that. It's a it's a die cut, but a like an inverse die cut. You got a punch out on the top right corner of the card, signifying this was the first 2,000 printed. Interesting to know how many they did print there in 1966. But Warren Sapp in 1966 was a consensus All-American defensive lineman, rusher, so dominant man. He was such a dominant D line. We got Eric Rett, MVP. Look at that upper deck. Check that out, man. I love how they highlight the player there. Beautiful upper deck gold MVP. Whew. Very nice, very nice. Man, I ran out of ran out of sleeves there. Massive shout out to David here. This is a such a sick hall of PC items. Um, this is going to start my Buccaneers binder. These are all going in there. Hardy Nickerson. Oh yeah, man. He was the predecessor to Derek Brooks. Finished first on the Bucks in tackles for 122 for second straight season. 1995 Bowman's best. Hardy Nickerson paved the way for my beloved Derek Brooks. Man, check out how sick that card was. Like, that is a nice, I love the texture and the little design of the background, almost like a the PMG type of background design with that big Buccaneer text on the left. That's nice. Trent Dilfer, textured, textured card. This was one of those action pack cards. You guys remember these? Man, look at the look at the texture on that. Like, how, how nice of quality is that? They don't make qual uh, quality cards like that in, in most sets now. I mean, this very thick, like, quality with that kind of texture. I mean, I can't imagine what the manufacturing process was like, but Trent Dilfer was one of the great flameouts on our team to go on and lead the Ravens to a, a Super Bowl win <laughs> the next year. Just uh, an incredible story there. We got a Santana Dotson, man. Check this out. A Fleer 93 rookie sensation Santana Dotson. 
Didn't go to the fifth round of the 92 draft, but he immediately stepped in as a starter, tied the NFL rookie lead with 10 sacks, led the Tampa Bay linemen with 92 tackles. Let's see what else we got. We got a couple really cool ones here at the end. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, check out this Flintstones. Dude, funny story is that like a, a dance thing that my, my sisters did as a kid. They needed somebody to dress up as Fred Flintstone. And so they, my mom mom made me a costume and I ran out on stage doing yabba dabba dabba do <laughs> As a kid, that's cool, man. Check out this Fred Flintstone's Buccaneers. Just little fun card. Nice little, nice little PC item there. Flintstones got the team stats on the back. Yep, we won five and lost 11 in 1992. It was a heck of a year. And we got we got a Reggie Cobb to finish it out. The most rushing yardage was 752 in 1992. There you have it, guys. 1991 NFL team statistical leaders. Broderick Thomas, the Sandman. Gary Anderson, the running back. Lawrence Dalsey, the wide receivers. Limited edition, 1992 Pacific. Wow, what an incredible collection here. I'll have to do a flyby highlight. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what some of your favorite PC items are that aren't rookie cards, that aren't, you know, something that you would, you know, consider investment item that you would ever sell. Just something fun, pretty, nice to look at. Uh, gives you a nostalgic feeling like this. Thank you so much again to David. You are the man. You are the man, David. We all thank you, man, for your contributions to the hobby. And this is uh, this is incredible. Let me give you guys a flyby highlight. Peace. Peace.